Today, I'm going to show you how to build a custom voice AI agent from scratch using the AQX platform. At the end of this video, you'll know everything you need to make your own agent that can answer calls and help customers over the phone in a natural and conversational way. And I just want to clarify, you don't need to know how to code or use any of the complicated software out there to do this. It's all done within the AQX platform. And honestly, the agent we're going to build today can be done within about 15 minutes. Now, before we jump into the platform and start building, there's a couple of things we need to determine about the agent. Number one is the type of agent we want to build. Is it inbound, outbound, or is it a website voice bubble? All three of those can be done on the AQX platform. Number two, we need to determine what the agent is actually going to do. What is its goal? Is it a customer service rep that's just answering any questions that it gets? Is it a sales rep that's trying to sell a certain product? Or is it an appointment setter who has the goal of just setting up appointments with whoever calls in? Or is it maybe designed to collect feedback from raising customers? Number three, what does the agent need to know in order to do what we want? For example, does it need to access information from a frequently asked questions section of the website? Does it need to have information from a CRM, like client information? Does it need to have access to a calendar to see what the availability is? Or does it need some access to some other information, maybe from a PDF or text document? In the case of today's video, we're going to build an agent for a hypothetical visitor center in the hypothetical town of Coral Bay Pacifica. For this visitor center, I want to build a customer service agent that's going to handle all of the inbound calls about the town of Coral Bay. So things like parking, amenities, and hours of operations for the visitor center, as well as any nearby attractions that people might be interested in. All of this information will be included in the knowledge base, which I've prepared as a Word document. For anything the agent doesn't have access to in the knowledge base document, we'll have it transfer the call to a live person in the visitor center. For this agent, it's pretty basic, so we don't need to connect it to a calendar or CRM, but I'll make another video in the near future showing you guys how to set both of those up, which I'll link to at the end of this video, so stay tuned. So now we know what agent we're building and what we want it to do. Let's jump into the platform and start building. Now, if you don't already have access to the AQX platform, which we'll be using in this video, you can visit our website, which I will leave a link to in the description, and you can get that set up. It's completely free to start, and you don't need a credit card or anything to sign up. So feel free to go in there and just start building your own agents when you're done watching this video. All right, so once we hop into the AQX dashboard, this is what we'll see here. So you can see I've got a couple of agents built already, a voice bubble and a inbound agent that just schedules appointments for me. But to do what we want today, which is build a brand new agent from scratch for this Coral Bay Visitor Center, we just hop into this campaign section, which is where all of our phone agents will show up. The voice bubble agents show up in here, phone agents show up under campaigns. Then we click on new campaign. And so this agent that we're making today is just an inbound agent so it just handles inbound calls it doesn't do anything outbound so we're just going to click on receiving calls here and for campaign name i'm just going to give it the name coral bay visitor center inbound agent then we click on next to go to the next step and for this here company name coral bay visitor center for agent name i'm just going to go with one i've used before call it sophie and industry is visitor center we can select the voice that we want to use here and we can listen Hi there, to it i'm ava Thanks for choosing AQX. And that'll work for our case. Now, this one, under template, we are making an inbound customer service agent. We could go and create from scratch. For our use case today, this inbound customer service template that's already made in the dashboard will work just fine for us. And under agent role, same thing. We could also create this from scratch, but we're just going to do customer service agent from this pre-made template for us to the next step. Now in here, this is where we actually add our knowledge. So this is the knowledge base that I've put together for this hypothetical visitor center in this hypothetical Coral Bay Pacifica town. And in here, we just have some general information about where the visitor center is, contact information, hours of operations, things about admissions and fees, as well as attractions nearby and activities that you can do in Coral Bay and other amenities, rules and regulations, just general information that a visitor center would typically need to give out. So I've added that here and I'm just going to upload that file as a Word document in there. And we can see it's uploading here. Perfect. That's done. If we wanted to add a website link, we could click on this here and enter a URL. And then the program would scrape any information that we have on the web page. Now, keep in mind in here, it only adds information from the specific URL that you add here. So if you have other pages on your website that you want to include in that knowledge, you have to add those individually. So just something to keep in mind when you're adding website information to your knowledge base. For our case, this Word document is all we need. So next step 
Here we can edit what we want the agent to sound like. So this first message is what the agent will say every single time you call it, it will recite word for word this. I like it when my agents are a little bit more short and to the point. So instead of saying, thank you for calling, I'm gonna make it say, thanks for calling. And company name, this is a placeholder. It will insert Coral Bay Visitor Center because that's company name we entered on the previous screen in step one. Same with this is agent name. That's where we entered the agent name on the first screen as well, Sophie. So we'll say, thanks for calling Coral Bay Visitor Center. This is Sophie. How may I assist you today? I wanted to say, how can I help you instead? So we just delete that and just that. That looks good to me. Now, if we want to make some more detailed changes, we can go into the script section and you can teach it everything we want it to do with sort of empathy statements. We can teach it troubleshooting process and how we want it to handle that. We can teach it how to talk when it's presenting a solution. We can teach it how to talk when giving step-by-step -step guidance and stuff like that. So if you want to make more detailed changes, you can go in here. The other place you can do things is in the notes section. This is where you can add just little notes, minor changes that you want to make to the agent. This is where you'll probably make most of your adjustments to the agent. So let's say the agent is using really long drawn out responses. So I might enter something like keep responses short and concise. So yeah, that's the note section. You can just make some high level changes to the way the agent operates and sounds in here. So next step. Now in this screen, this is where you set up your Twilio connection and integration. So this is where you connect your phone number. So once you have a Twilio account, you just click on connect integration and enter your SID and auth token in here from Twilio. Click next. Then you select your phone number, click next. And that's set up. Next up on the same screen, we can set up call forwarding. So if we have a certain department or person that we want to forward calls to when the caller requests it, or when the conversation hits a certain point, which that's one of the things that we can adjust in the notes as well, we would just enter that here. So in our case, we're just gonna forward the calls to the front desk of the visitor center. And we'll just enter that phone number as well and click save, perfect. On to the next step. Now here we can actually call the number and test it, but I'm gonna skip that step for now and call it once it's already activated. Perfect, and this last page is just a brief summary of all of the information that we've added to this agent. So we're just going to click finish and activate. All right, so now the agent is made. I'm just going to give it a quick test call. I'll put it on speaker and hopefully you'll be able to hear it. Thanks for calling Coral Bay Visitor Center. This is Sophie. How can I help you? Hey, Sophie. I'm just wondering if you can tell me what time the visitor center is open. Of course, the Coral Bay Visitor Center's regular hours are Monday to Friday, 9 a.m. to 6 p.m., Saturday and Sunday, 8 a.m. to 7 p.m. Are you planning a visit or do you need information on a specific date? Um, I was actually looking at getting a guided tour. What do you guys charge for those? Guided tours at the Coral Bay Visitor Center are $10 per person and include access to historical landmarks. We also offer a 10% discount for seniors and students with a valid ID. Awesome. You like Thank you for that information? information. No, that's everything. Have a good day. Goodbye. Thank you for contacting us. Have a great day. Goodbye. Perfect. So as you can see, she was able to answer the call, give me some basic information. That is how to make a custom voice AI customer service receptionist for a visitor center using the AQX platform. Hope this helps and I will see you guys in the next one.